The rainfall feels good after all the mess that Dusk has waded through tonight. All of it was so that she could reach this location, an area of the city that her and her brother were yet to explore, but an area in which they knew there was a lab. And while the nature of that lab is still unknown, it is still the best shot that they have to fix their spiraling genomes. Let us find out what the lab has in store. And let us hope that there are yet more dark days ahead. Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here and welcome back to Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. No hope. Where we're carrying hope into the night. Hope this lab is going to have something for us. Elliot closing the glass door behind us. We are now out on the sidewalk of New Hartford or Chaplin. We're kind of between the two different locations at the moment. We do have one little notification on the map here. That's a derelict shed. But we're interested in the lab here. We want to know exactly what's going on there. So we've got two homes that are nearby, an unexplored area here, and then a dino zoo. And the reason we could see the dino zoo, I think at a distance, is because it does actually, uh, has multiple levels to it. The lab does too, so we can actually see that it's at least a two-story lab. So, yay. <laughs> we do have a science ID card, so hopefully that will work to get us in there. Oh boy. <laughs> and we already have dead zombies on the street. And I was going to say, because we're close to a dino park, I think it's the dinos, but no, we've actually got an acidic ant on the ground here. And some antihistamines. Um, we probably don't want to go smashing acidic ant corpses, so we'll just grab the pills out of the bottle here. We can hear more fighting going on, so there's definitely some kind of an anthill around here. I think we can see dumps. Yeah, dumps. Oh, anthill down here, I see. So they've spread pretty far already because that's a decent radius away from the anthill there. And acid ants. That is unfortunate. Well, uh, I guess that at the very least will mean that the zombie population here might not be as bad. We hear blam from down below. Blam could be a boomer exploding or it could be someone shooting a firearm. Which is worse, well, probably the firearm. Um, we hear another blam. Okay, okay, no. Blams. Multiple blams. That is a firearm of some kind. We can hear it echoing, perhaps through the uh, sewer entrances along the guttering here. This lab may be bigger than I thought. But to the northwest and below, that's kind of more in this direction here. But then again, labs can have very big footprints underground, and that may be what we're looking at there. Oh boy. So, we can hear them. It sounds like it's kind of off towards the east at the moment. We do kind of need to go east eventually. So let's just, well, okay. I was gonna say cautiously make our way over here, but we've been spat on by a giant acidic ant and our legs are burning. Let's get out of that as quickly as we can. Yeah, that hurts. And that thing is a bit of a problem. We are going to go and force shove that away into the night and hope that we can just make it across here without running into too much else. We can hear them attacking, hear them fighting against the dead. Let's just hope that the dead can keep them occupied. The charge in our hands is nearly gone. Well, that's okay. It sounds like Elliot was spat at. He did make it away, but not entirely. Let's send it off into the night again. Okay, we are clear for now, brother. So, we want to try and see if we can find a way around this home. Gosh, yeah, they've, they've killed a lot around here. It does make me also wonder if they have managed to actually burrow up and into the Dino Zoo. Yeah, Dino Zoo. Something that wasn't native to Dusk's plane of existence. Yet, it's seemingly a normal occurrence here. Alright, it's going to take a while for the zombie dog to be able to get through this fencing here. So, I don't think we're going to have to worry about them. I am intrigued though. We can't pull you through the fence, can we? No, no. <laughs> does that actually slam you into it? I don't think it does, but hey, it's it's good to try all these things, right? So I think that this should theoretically be the lab. Yeah, lab, concrete wall. Okay, so let's try and find a way in. I ideally would like to go down this way if possible. Oh, that's a bar guest. Okay, so there's probably a few doggos in this uh, home here. No, it's a, it's a dog park, okay. All right, maybe we do go to the north then, because um, that's going to be a fair amount of noise. The Bargast has already found its way out, and they're generally pretty quick. So 
Let's be even faster if we can. <sighs> doors. Closed, frosted glass doors. Right? There's a decent parking lot out the front here and a galvanized steel door. Any card readers on the outside? Oh, let's not worry about that right now. Let's just try and see if we can get in and out the rain. Oh, you know what's interesting about this lab? This layout. It's not the same exactly, but it's definitely reminiscent of Hub 01 to Dusk. Oh, it is a little different, but I think there is a moment where that thought most certainly crosses her mind. That's, yep, that's a card reader. It's asking for a science ID card, of which we have two. Uh, let's check the desks out the front here first. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> okay, steel ostrich armor. So I don't think that this is actually for an ostrich. Yeah, origin dino mod. This will be for ostrich shaped things. So it is armor for a dinosaur. So I imagine it's some kind of harness that they have here at the lab. So this is definitely a dino lab because yeah, there's a freaking dinosaur egg here as well. And also tyrant mutagen. Elliot, oh boy, do we have a treat for you. An extremely rare mutagen cocktail. It smells like blood and is a green goop with blood red streaks. Fantastic. Okay, so the ostrich armor we're probably not gonna worry about right this second. Um, yeah, but let's grab that dinosaur egg because that should still be good for a while. Let's just have a look at it. Um, good for three more weeks and we can eat it just as is. It's a lot of calories in one go, should we desire. Okay, ooh, snacks, looks like it. Energy drink and energy cola, some root beer as well. Um, you know what? I think we will go for the energy stuff and I guess we'll go for the root beer as well. Apparently the root beer is not a valid Tai Chi weapon, which means that we are wielding it currently. So let's just go and drink the root beer and we'll drop off the bottle. There we go. A nice little treat there. What else do we have here? Oh, okay. Killer Instinct, unarmed combat for street survival. Is it just gonna teach us about unarmed combat? Probably. If I had to take a wild guess, there's nothing in the discs here. Um, okay, let's get a little bit of light for just a moment. We'll use the smartphone again, and let's just try and read that there. Just have a have a flick through it. Okay, it can bring our unarmed combat knowledge up to three. It I I I don't want to second guess whether or not it might still be able to teach us a martial art. Maybe it can. I don't think it's taking up all that much space. We will hold on to it for now anyway. Let's turn that flashlight off. Oh, I was gonna say it does sound like the rain had stopped outside, but no, it's gone to proper rain now. It was just holding off for a moment. Okay, so what are we gonna find behind these doors? Well, actually, you know what? Before we do this, before we swipe this card, Dusk is gonna reach out with her senses. She hasn't used this yet, other than just doing a few tests. Spark Sight. It is a concentration spell. Dusk opens her senses to the flow of current. So if there are mechanical things around here, we will know. The doors are open. Let's peek around the corner here. We should also know if there are turrets as well. Okay, it is a elevator. There's elevator controls here. Um, so we definitely saw a second story to this lab. Yeah, um, I don't see a way to easily get to that. Maybe this goes up, maybe it goes down. Ah, uh, right, minus two. Let's get Elliot nice and close here. Oh, and he's with us. And there is light here. It is well illuminated, the space. And how far below ground are we? Okay, we're two levels below ground. Uh, we're on the same level as the subway here. Okay, so the theory that I had about this connecting up to the lab here it does seem to be correct which also leads me to believe that we may have something over this way which that's very interesting oh boy but we've we've got a lab to explore here i am excited and elliot is hearing footsteps okay where hard to know gosh it's so bright in here uh what do we got on the table computer gaming and boston anime con magazine let's flick through that oh something just died nearby okay so it can teach us to make 
kind of cosplay related things. Who knows, we may need it. Also, we may need some of the drinks in here. We don't write the second, so we're not gonna grab them. Trapper's life, have we had a look at you before? Apparently not, so let's flick through you. Can teach us how to make a bear trap and that's kind of about it. So from here, where then do we want to go? Oh, okay, we heard a crash over here. Something collapsing. These metal doors are pretty strong. Let's hope that they can hold against whatever is making all that noise. We've got a darkened office space here with a vortex device. It is for shaking the contents of a test tube, which we are going to need. There's some salt here as well. And on the bookshelf, we have the big book of first aid, which I do believe we have already read before, but just in case we will flip through it. All the while we are hearing more death uh, going on. Ah, uh, yes, no, we have. We have read that. Okay, let's stop hauling. I think we're going to go to the south first. Let's just peek around the corners here, peeking as we go. And we should still have our concentration up. Let's just see. We will probably have it under here. Spark site. Excellent. Also, we're still kind of damp from our mana luminance. So let's just try and use that towel because we actually seem to be kind of a comfortable temperature now. Peeking into this room here, we... <sighs> We hear just things collapsing, which is concerning. Acrylamide, what? What is your purpose? A highly carcinogenic white powder that would readily, that would readily polymerize into a whole bunch of useful water-soluble gels. It could be useful. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know right the second if it is. We'll take it for now though. And what's over here? Some wood ashes. Okay, all right. Onwards then. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that if there is electrical things that we'll be able to see them a bit further away, you know? I mean, I'm surprised that we're not seeing the utility lights here. I feel like that's something that we should probably be able to make out. Well, this is a very dark room. Acetic acid and potassium iodide tablets. Okay, this is a concentrated acid. It's an antifungal agent, I see. Oh, and um, it has a horrid smell. Okay, let's just grab the iodide tablets for the moment and see what's in here. Mercury and sulfur, a considerable amount of the stuff. Okay. Oh, and that's a dino. Just hopping around here, a small bipedal dinosaur covered with feathers. At the end of each foot is a large sickle-like claw. Its eyes suggest intelligence. Right now, it isn't um, being aggressive towards us. Hey, <laughs> we do have some dog food on us. Could we try and feed it dog food? Uh, I mean, maybe? Let's just have a look. We've also got cat food as well. I mean, we could try the cat food, right? Activate. It does not want that kind of food. I mean, that's, that's fair. Wet dog food? We've only got one thing of wet dog food. I thought we had more than that. I hope we haven't accidentally eaten any. <laughs> no, we've just got the one type. Okay. We'll think about this then, because if we can only use it once, I think we want to make sure that we're choosing the right uh, creature. And that might not be the right choice. Aluminium sulfate. Uh, what's this? Dinosaur dropping. So you've been down here for a while, it seems. We've got some spider samples here and some ethanol as well. Unfortunately, our pack is kind of playing up being in the field at the moment. So I'm just having to quickly kind of go through and insert things directly into it. We'll just take the spider samples. We don't necessarily need that ethanol right now. Some more, some more acrylamide and a lot of antimony trichloride. Color this powder with a sharp, pungent owner. It's used for polymerization, hydrocracking, and chlorination reactions. Cool. <laughs> we'll take the battery. <laughs> I think I will become more aware as to what chemicals that we want in the future. Right now, though, could be anything. I uh, do have a few oxygen tanks in here, though. That's kind of useful. Some more potassium iodide, clean water, some phenol. Oh, it can burn your skin away like tissue paper. Great. Well, be careful with that. It'd be neat if we could use it as a weapon. The melting point apparatus here, which is a kind of plug-in situation, it looks like. Interesting. The device lets you precisely measure the melting point of a crystal. It'll tell you how pure it was. Yeah, don't, don't know how useful it would be to us. That's an interesting piece of tech and we are definitely still hearing noises. So the dinos, well, 
I think they may be loose in the lab. We've got one in here for sure. It may have smashed through these doors. Uh, also, we do have a little bit of acid splatter up here. Okay, I think we're going to continue trying to explore maybe a little bit more towards the south. Oh, there's definitely something going on through here. Uh, what? Okay. Oh, that's a zombie prowler. Well, I was not expecting to see you here. Dusk takes a few strikes at it as it makes its way back in towards her. Yeah, we only we can only really attack it when it's right next to us, unless of course we are using the light, and the light is here. So let's use it. Excellent. Okay, they really didn't have much at all. We got a mouse sample here now. Okay, cool. And just a small plastic bottle. Let's grab that mouse sample. We've got some acetone detergent up here and some clean water. We're totally hydrated at the moment, so I'm not so concerned about that. Okay, dead body. Well, dead zombie body, which is always interesting to see. And hey, we do actually have some things. Oh, in here, horns, mutagen. Also some ibuprofen. Yep, sure. Now, in the very first lab that we were in, we did discover some horns mutagen on the ground. It had been smashed, unfortunately. Horns. An extremely rare mutagen cocktail containing a mix of biological samples spiked with rum. Just so interesting that there would be rum in there. Uh, we are definitely going to be grabbing that. Horns mutagen. Yes. Yes, we'll be taking that, thank you. And we'll also be checking <laughs> to see what else is here. Uh, Chainmail ostrich armor. Bronze ostrich armor. Iron elephant armor. And another dinosaur egg. And more armor as well very cool i'm going to try my best to remember that it is here because if we do get a dino it would be nice to be able to deck them out in armor i mean definitely uh for the moment though we are just going to go and grab the other dinosaur egg that was there we don't know what they are we could just wait and let them hatch but also they're yummy hmm it's tough <laughs> Advanced toxicology. I don't know if we've read you yet. We haven't. Let's flick through it. Oh boy, we're hearing quite a bit of noise. This can teach us about making venoms. Interesting. Oh, oh, and look at that. We can sense a creature here. There is something mechanical on the other side. It's working. It's good to know that it's working and that we can sense. We can sense the spark in things. Okay, so this book, we're holding on to it at the moment. We want to be putting that into our pack. And, uh, yeah, it could be a man hack, it could be something else. It's difficult to know for certain as to what that could be. And it was there, oh, it's back again. Okay, ah, uh, oh, that's why we could tell where it is. Aquilops Bio-Operator, a small four-legged dinosaur dotted with crackling bionics with a glowing beak and small horns. I love that. Are you friendly? <laughs> You're ignoring us currently. Uh, can you see us? Um, can see your current location, and you're just chill. Okay, you're a... <laughs> this is so weird and fantastic, all at the same time. Okay, so here's what we're going to try. First of all, cat food. We'll see. Does not want that kind of food. Okay, it's a, it's a barnacly enhanced dinosaur. I feel like using the dog food here should be okay. Also, I imagine there might be other types of food around here. Let's see. Activate does not want that kind of food and now we're wielding we're wielding the wet dog food out of the can out of the can really okay that's that's fine can i put that back into you know my pack i guess we can how lovely damn you know what we probably need fodder of some kind um that's so cool though uh, we've got a fish sample here we'll grab that thank you and oh elliot just uh leave this leave this little guy be huh oh boy oh boy okay we got some more bio operators down here um and they do seem aggressive a small feathered bipedal dinosaur dotted with crackling bionics its small hooked claws glow menacingly do we think they use uh electrical things probably let's close that door Oh boy, <laughs> I'm assuming that they're probably out here as well. Oh boy, they're kind of everywhere, huh? <laughs> wow, spark sight, very cool. Um, oh, all right, okay, okay. So, let's go start activating some powers then, I think. We're going to go get our electrical discharge going first of all, and then the voltaic strikes. We might just want to try and ask Elliot to stay here. We'll also turn on safe mode. We are going to just wait a while, see if we can catch our breath back. That's a lot more noise. Okay, 
Elias, stay with for now. Oh yeah, they're, they're here. Okay, so you are not aggressive at the moment. You are. And you start to rush towards us. Dusk takes a few strikes at it and just misses it. The shot reflects off of the bio-operator's thick hide. We're doing no damage to it? Yeah, hot damn. Okay, I mean, there we go. We got something, a palm strike. But it strikes us. Interesting. Ow, and that hurt considerably. And we don't have our powers right now. I'm assuming because we're stunned. Elliot, please help. This thing hurts a lot. It's it's dead though. He got it. Okay, so none of our cutting stuff was working at all then. That is frightening. Okay, we do need to be very careful with them. Um, we're, we're still sparking all over the show. Okay, um, so we do have a friend in here. There is another friend up there. We could probably try and get bionics from some of their bodies. That is very, very tempting. Okay, continuing onwards. All right, looks like this is kind of like a little bit of an airlock. Okay, all right, lots of hardware and tools by the looks of things. Let's check the desks first before we head on over and see what else is here. Got some duct tape. Okay, what do we got here? Extension cords, welding goggles, which I do believe we actually have. There's an EMF detector as well, which I wonder if that kind of works like how Dusk's spark sight does at the moment. There's a microelectric motor here as well. Um, let's just have a look. Do I have welding goggles in my inventory at the moment? We do. Okay. Okay. We're good. On, we're good on that front then. Good to see it though. Is this a card? It is memory card Zedra. Okay. Huh. Um, can I just put that into our tablet PC? I doubt it, but we're going to try. Please don't cook my tablet PC. Okay. Download. Um, okay. Let's do these first and then we'll do the Zedra card afterwards. Okay. Okay. Tyrannosaurus bio-operator spotted. Stop downloading data? Yes, we will stop downloading data. Oh, I see it. I see it. Um, Elliot calls out and tells us that it's there. Yeah, I can see it, my brother. I can see it. It is hurt, though. Enormous glowing teeth and a massive jaw. Fierce eyes and a powerful frame to drive it forward. Short arms with large claws, with a feathered mullet and tail. The entire body is studded with intricate patterns of crackling bionics. Well, okay then, we are definitely going to have to do something about that. It has managed to fight its way in here. It is. It's fighting the other bio-operator. It's kind of helping us. Let's see if we can help it. I mean, some, somehow it's kind of doing okay. It is stunned currently. Dusk reaches out with her mind and tries to shove the giant creature against the wall. Does it do damage? Eh, negligible, if that. Let's try again. Perhaps the angle was wrong. It's very hard to tell. It may be that because it's so large, we aren't actually knocking it back very far. It is currently stunned though, so that's good. And you know what? We do have some other tools other than, you know, our psychic abilities. I mean, for one, we could try and see if we could get a little bit closer to try and spark it. We also have a pistol. Let's see how bullets work on this thing, eh? Uh, we are, we've already got like a really good aim here. Okay, recoil is low. We fire and we hit the bio-operator for 33 damage. Good work, Dusk. She's steady again, firing 43 damage. Again, 36, hitting the bio-operator in the belly. Heavy arterial bleeding. Oh no. Our friend was lucky up until that point. It finally got it. It turned it into a heap of gore, but this thing is nearly dead. It has heavy arterial bleeding. It's lunging, pushing its way through the gap in the wall. Oh boy, the current in our hand is fading and Dusk hurls it back. Elliot says, be quiet. So I imagine Dusk just screams, a guttural victory scream as this Tyrannosaurus bio-operator is pierced on the broken rebar of the reinforced concrete wall. Amazing, incredible, fantastic. Let's go and reload our Glock. We have nothing to reload it with. Okay, that's fine. Do we not have any extra ammunition for it? I don't think we do. That's that's okay. We also have our wand that we can always put into our holster. Uh, but for now, we are just going to put the Glock back into that. And we're going to smash that body. Yes, we could try and butcher it, 
try and get the bionics out of it, we can still do that even after it's pulled. It does mean that those bionics will probably be damaged, but I don't want that thing coming back to life while we are still here. <sighs> so let's continue through the rest of this. Heavy disposable battery, that is nice. Aluminium welding wire, cool. Copper wire, yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of interesting things here. I mean, if we could find a welder, that would be fantastic. Got a few light strips, safety glasses, some solder. Uh, you know what, we'll take some of that solder. But uh, yeah, nothing else in here specifically that we're gonna want. I'm so glad that we've got the spark sight and that we're actually able to kind of detect um, creatures that have bionics nearby. That is super, super useful. Okay, um, yeah, so we are gonna have to smash this corpse here. Oh boy, the glass is broken, which means that those things are probably out here somewhere. That's another Tyrannosaurus bio-operator? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a little concerned now. Um, <laughs> I don't know where our other friend got to, but I imagine that might be them. Yeah, damn, that is unfortunate. We'll check this room here. We're not seeing anything immediately. Let's maybe turn on safe mode. Yep, uh-huh. And try and pick what direction we want to try and go in next. We could go a little bit more to the east and try and, you know, clear that way out first of all. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, okay, there's definitely something on the other side of the glass there. It, it could just be a friend. Um, we don't know, we can't see, and you know what we can, if we just turn on our light, um, okay, Sauron, Etholestes, <laughs> that's a mouthful, bio operator, where, like, in front of us, somehow, oh, no, over here, it's currently tracking, okay, it's got menacing claws, sure, let's turn off the light, and make our way down this way towards the freaking open doors, okay, so, we are gonna have to try and fight it, we want to be using our, okay, our, our powers. There was more than one here. We're going to force shove that one back. Did it bounce off the wall? Very hard to tell. Um, let's just get that door closed. Wow, they jump really quickly. Uh, let's check the space out as well. Elliot, we're seeing a Gallimimus bio-operator in the distance. It is fleeing currently. It is a fast-moving bipedal dinosaur dotted with crackling bionics. Its curved claws glow menacingly. Of course they do, of course they do. Okay, looking over things that are down here, not much yet, but the oxygen delivery kit, the one that's there, might be better than the one that we have. Yeah, so our one had already been used a fair bit, although, ah, uh, that's a big one. Volume isn't terrible, but it's probably more than I would want. So let's just put the small one back in there. Not sure if we can unload it into something else the oxygen that is but we probably need something to transfer them between uh the two different pressurized containers we've got some benzene here it is highly flammable potentially good for molotov of cocktails so maybe we do want to take some benzene whether or not we can actually use it to make molotovs i don't know um okay lots of broken glass down here some ammonium nitrate got a voltmeter okay a fish sample yes okay these mutagenic samples are most certainly going to be useful a feline one and a light disposable battery. We'll be putting both of those into our pack. Okay, moving on. Just lots of powders and things. I hope this thing is just going to stay chill. The Galabimus. Um, it's so far so good. Got a heavy battery. Okay, and that is leading out there. Let's not do that just yet. We've also got a metal door down here as well, which I kind of want to check out. We do need to check out the rest over here towards the east. We will get there. We're not going to miss anything, I... I promise. High capacity, medium battery. Don't need it right this second. It's gonna weigh us down maybe a little too much, so let's not worry about it. Okay, Dromaeosaurus bio operator. You're charging towards us, and you can jump, so we'll keep that in mind. We are gonna try and see if we can shove you back against that wall. Oh, and you splatter. It was quite injured to begin with, so we had that going for us. Nothing in that desk there, just a clean bottle of water there, and a slime sample. We've got a really good spread of samples so far. It's looking good, and uh, this is looking relatively clear. What are you? A feral troglobite, okay. Oh, and that's a decayed zombie here. So some of the staff are still around. Actually, it's a, it's a, it was a skeletal zombie, it looks like. Ooh, power drill, funnel. Yet again, we don't need a power drill like the second, but because this is no hope, I'm half tempted to try and take it, just because it's like there's no guarantee that we're going to be able to find a power drill, even if we go to like a big hardware store. Um, we do have some vending machines here though, so they could be good for food or drink, it looks like drink mostly. Yep, they're both drinks, okay. Let's check out this office. 
Beauty Magazine, we are good. Okay, what have we got going on up here? So, next room. Mouse samples, three of them here. We like that. Okay, let's go further east. What's that there? It's a Vortex device. And we've got some more beakers and whatnot. Some sodium down here. Okay, hmm. Trying to decide if we want to go further north first or south. Let's just check out here to begin with. And more blood. Okay, that's fine. We know what's going on there. Okay, good. So, there's one more room down there that we can get into, it looks like. I don't like uh, not being able to see properly. <laughs> around the corners, it makes me nervous. But because we've got spark sight, I don't feel as nervous as I would. I don't feel like we're likely to just walk straight into a turret, you know? But then again, the radius might not be massive because we have seen them kind of popping in and out. So that might be one reason why we want to try and see if we can improve it going forwards. Got another body over here. Okay, not much on them. What's in here? Bird samples, okay. Thank you, thank you. Oh, and we've got another bio operator. Okay, all right, they're moving down towards us. We're gonna slam it against the wall, and it is dead. Seems to be one of the best ways for us to deal with them in here. Telekinesis is powerful. And that is a snail sample. Gotta catch them all, right? Oh, another spider sample. Okay, nothing else. All right, so moving through here, I think I wanna try and go further to the northeast before we explore further. Hello, you. Let's back up. And it sounds like there might be another around here, so let's just be ready. Oh, man, this noise is loud. Okay. Now, okay, is our spark sight still on? It is, but we really aren't seeing that far. There's definitely... Okay, that's why we weren't seeing it. It is something else. I love that Elliot sees it, and he goes, Nerd alert! <laughs> Like, really? That's your reaction? Guess this dinosaur is a freaking nerd. This large bipedal feathered covered dinosaur has a long gator-like mouth with sharp teeth. Really, Elliot? Okay, all right, let's give us some breathing room or actually just impale it on the glass. That works too, Dusk. That works well. <laughs> okay, um, hmm. We do have another one making its way down towards us. So let's back up around the corner here and we don't actually have a good angle. Oh boy. Let's try from here. It's it's managed to stun Elliot, it looks like. Oh, and that's gone. Uh, over here, I think, as well, possibly. It is kind of hard to tell, but things are quieter. Are you are you right? He's actually... he's Well, he's okay. It's probably the most hurt that we've seen him in a while. And Dusk's skin no longer tingles, so we don't have our discharge going on anymore. We may want to get that back up. I am concerned with how damaged Dusk's torso is though, so we are going to want to be really cautious when we're fighting bionically enhanced dinosaurs in melee. Uh, incredibly dangerous stuff. Well, that's a slime sample for us. Thank you. And let's just clear this area here a little bit before we continue up. Hello, friend. Look at you. You're kind of normal. About the size of a turkey. Don't, don't do it. Just... Just stay chill. Down here, frog samples, rat samples, and a human sample. Hmm. We'll be taking all of those samples, thank you. Oh, it's in a can, I see. Can we just take them as is like that? Or do we need to take the whole can? It doesn't look like we can take the can. Or did we? Oh, no, we did. We did. Okay, that's all good then. Okay, well, there's two of them there, huh? All right, let's see what we got in here. Um... Nothing, really. Oh, and through here, we have a bio-operator that's going to go away. Yes. Yes, they are. Okay. And nothing in there for us. Hmm. Here, though, I wouldn't mind trying to get that open. Or, you know what? I feel like we're just going to have to try and bash our way into it. Uh, we will check on that in a moment. We probably want to try and do everything else before we try and smash anything down, because... Well, we don't know what we're going to be starting. Let's grab that spider sample. There we go. And let's check the office. There's a briefcase and 101 wrestling moves. It can get our unarmed combat skill to three. We've already got five. And because we know what it can do, it means that we've already got this book. At least that's the way I'm seeing it. Yeah, we can, we can see here as well. Okay. All right. Moving on then. Let's actually go through... Let's actually go through this door down here first. Oh, ho, ho. that's a Velociraptor. Hey, you're currently ignoring us. It is much smaller than the Velociraptors that we'd usually think of. It just 
totally hopped away somewhere. I have no idea where it hopped to, but you know, good for it. All right, nothing there for us. Um, I don't like going to the rooms where we just cannot see, but I'm also nervous about turning on our light. Probably would be safer for us to just keep it on at this stage. See if there's anything on the ground here in amongst all this stuff, because that's a skeletal Deinonychus. There's, there's been some pretty intense fighting going on here, it looks like. There was a friendly dinosaur there, no longer. Okay, let's just turn that light off. And welcome to a earlier point in time. Past Rikon just experienced a power cut. And now, as present Rikon, I need to figure out exactly where we are and what is going on. We'll turn on our flashlight for a moment. A bio operator has just died. So I'm gonna try my best to get us back up to date. I believe we were up here. So I'm gonna cruise through everything that we've seen so far and see if I can get that done. Oh, okay, I don't think we've been here yet because I've just found some beast sample and no, that that is not familiar to me. That great big hole in the wall there. But yes, we will take that beast sample. And I think before we start going over towards the west, we will continue up here towards the north. Interesting. This room here is completely sealed up. We could get in it if we really wanted to, but uh, it's more just interesting that there doesn't seem to be a way in there. Oh, and a cephalopod sample. The velociraptors here seem to be pretty chill with us at the moment. They are a little in the way, but they aren't attacking us. Ooh, what do we have here? Ah, Zedra. And I do believe that I completely forgot earlier to have a look at the Zedra card that we found. <laughs> yeah, we've got two there. Let's do the regular ones first. Oh, no, I remember now. We got interrupted by a ginormous, horrific creature. <laughs> a good enough reason to do that. Uh, let's turn off our headlamp, actually, and we'll try and go back on over towards the light. I don't know whether or not we need to have the light on. Socket wrench set. Um, we don't need it. We don't need it. Ooh, tin snips. Fine metal soaring and metal soaring. Yeah, okay. Useful. We will take you. Okay, back out here in the light. Let's see if we can do this. Whoops, okay, nearly activated the wand. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. So, we will download, let's just say one of them to begin with. You download three recipes, tyrant mutagen, insecticide, and raptor mutagen. Oh boy, <laughs> okay. So what is the other one gonna have for us then? Let's download from the other card. Oh, elf A and horns, fun, very fun. So elf A, was the mutation string that Dusk went down in the previous season. So, hmm, fun that she's found it yet again. Ooh, okay, it looks like this door has been completely smashed in here, and it doesn't actually look like there's all that much interesting here. We'll turn on the light, there's a little bit back here. Uh, we have a rabbit sample tucked away. There we go, thank you. And it does look like it goes up a little bit further. Let's see what's going on up here. Okay, just an empty room. That is the edge of the lab up that way. So we're gonna start to head south now and just kind of make our way through all of these rooms. Okay, boiled leather elephant barding with bones. Cool, it is meant to invoke fear in bandits and raiders and traders alike. I mean, fantastic. <laughs> Rat samples. Okay, it looks like we've got a few samples around here. We'll take those. And there's yet another up here. Ah, another human sample. And a rat one too. What have we got going on here? They were a survivor zombie, it seems. No longer. Bird sample? Oh boy. Something big and dead. An Albertosaurus. Well, a nice big Albert would be nice. Oh, and yet another survivor zombie down here. Wearing football armor and they had a makeshift machete. Wasn't good enough to deal with, well, that big thing. And it was alive, it wasn't, it wasn't zombified. It, surely it wasn't being kept in here, no. No, it would have had a different holding cell, it's just, uh, it's broken out. It looks like we've got one last little area to check before we start heading further to the west. We have this room just here. And it's bathrooms, right? Yeah, nothing too interesting or wild there. Okay, so let's start heading to the south. We'll clear this area out and we're just gonna keep on making our way through. Hopefully we don't run into too much extra trouble. Just more bathrooms, okay. Oh, okay. 
an aggressive one, a bio-operator. Well, come on, charge us down. The further you fly, the harder you fall. And you fell pretty hard there. It looks like we can get into this room by going through that door there. We're just going to have to backtrack a little bit. It actually takes us over towards the elevator. Interesting. So we'll be going through here and then through here. Ursine samples and a troglobite sample. Oh, okay, we can see into this room now, although we can't see if there's anything actually on the table there, so I don't know if it's worth us trying to crash in there. But then again, why not? Let's get that enhanced strength going and just start to whack the glass. I think we're going to need a little bit more than just... Oh, no, here we go. Oh, okay, took a few whacks to get there, but we got there in the end. And we have a magazine in there. That is a RivTech style magazine, the 8 by 40 millimeter rounds. Very useful. I'm half tempted to see if there's anything kind of hidden in the walls here as well, although doesn't look like we're going to be able to damage them, not without having some kind of melee weapon on us. So we are going to drop concentration for a moment, but that does mean that we're going to have to um, up our spark sight again. So let's get it going and let's just get our breath back before we continue onwards. Oh, okay, maybe we go north first. Yeah, let's see where this leads. Plant sample, okay. Disposable battery and a mouse sample down here. Checking out the rest of the room. Interesting, there's just a bed in the corner here. Looks like it's probably for a subject of some kind. We have even more samples over here in the refrigerators. Mouse and rat samples. Two more bird samples. Oh, and tucked away in here, cattle sample and rat. Nothing stashed in this office, but there is an outdoor survival guide here. I really don't see that helping us all that much. We will flick through it. It might actually have... Oh, we can, we can learn from it. Okay, so I shouldn't just assume that we're not going to get anything from it. There's always a chance, right? And here we have yet another dinosaur egg and how to trap anything, which I think we have already read. Yeah, we have. Looks like we can store that egg, so we shall. Oh, and there's, there's another one here. Oh, okay, we can't fit that into our pack. You know what, Elliot? Do you want an egg? We, we can get you an egg. How about you take both of those, because uh, I feel like you're more of a mongoose than us. Uh, if he's standing still for a long time, it means that he's eating a whole ass dinosaur egg. <laughs> Lots of drink here as well, that's good, should we need to take any. Just some newspapers stashed away here. And some cookbooks, interestingly enough. I see. Before we go north, I just want to check out this space here, see what we've got going on. Nothing in the first room. Some cattle samples in the second. Plant samples too and a server room that's no longer working. Okay, to the north then. Ooh, okay, this is interesting. Are we gonna be able to get through that card reader? So awesome monthly. We're definitely past that point. Ooh, easy DIY gunsmithing projects. Doesn't fit in any pocket. Well, can we digitize it? You know what, we should actually look at digitizing everything at the moment. It won't take us that long to do. An hour and 40 minutes, okay, there we go. We managed to heal up a little bit in the process there, which is good. We scanned six books, and that means that we can go and just drop them off now. And we need to eat. So let's go straight for the smoked meat, I think. And then we'll drink a little while later. Worst case scenario, we know that we can get through these doors with the right tools. And oh, yeah, there's, there's lots of drinks in here. So that's good. Okay, so science. Yep, science ID card here as well. And ours is still valid, I believe. So we'll swipe, the doors unlock, and ah. <laughs> we have connected up to the subway here. Yeah, I see. Okay, cool. We won't go too far here, but it's good to know that it does connect. I am assuming that this is some kind of security office, so getting in here would be really good. And it's glass, so we'll be able to shatter it. Let's enhance our strength and smash away. Oh, we're using the survival guide? <laughs> it's okay, we already digitized it. Oh, okay, that's a bit of a problem. That's that's a considerable problem. We've got a colossal slug here that will just continue to regenerate. Really want to get into the space, but we don't necessarily need extra weapons. We need to stay alive is what we need. So Elliot, close that door, please. I mean, if we really want to get in here, we can just smash through this. So let's go for that instead. There we go. Good job, Dusk. Let's just keep the strength up for now. 
I doubt it's actually going to be able to get in here. Yeah, they're just going to be attacking each other for a while. And there isn't actually anything in here, so... Well, that's fine. We're going to have to stop concentrating again. Just because we don't want to keep our strength up for too long. I guess we could just try and attack something, right? But I'm fine with doing it this way. We'll get our spark sight back on and catch our breath. It sounds like that zombie's very dead now. Oh, I, I did just realize that our science ID card was actually used there, so we did lose it. Okay, that's unfortunate, but uh, it, it is what it is. We have other means of getting into places if we do need to. And hello, are you... Well, you're kind of ignoring us for the moment. That's, that's good. You keep doing that and we'll be friends. Hey, okay? um, Elliot, I imagine he was probably eating an egg, right? <laughs> okay, what have we got going on here? Oh, and let's reload our headlamp before I forget. We've got lots of batteries and we'll try and keep it on while we're down here. Feline sample is our first find here. And straight up horns mutation in the disc. How nice. And an egg. Another egg for Elliot. What a day, eh? What a day. Um, interesting space here again. I feel like that this is definitely a holding, a holding room, a holding cell for a dino. I think for the moment, I'm going to continue on towards the north. Just kind of do the outside of the place before we start to make our way in towards the center. Even more vending machines here with a ton of drinks and something that needs to be smashed. There is a bio operator, right? Oh, okay. And a different kind of bio operator here, but it is just, well, it's kind of chilling out for now. Curved claws glow menacingly. See, if we could get one of them to be friendly with us, that would be really fun. There's another thing over that side. Um, you kind of booking it, huh? Um, see, the idea would be getting a dinosaur that's big enough that we can ride it. I don't think that we could ride this. Maybe we could. Maybe it's ostrich sized. I think we'll give it a shot, right? Let's go for cat food first. Doesn't want it. It is going to be, it's going to be cattle fodder, right? Let's activate the dog food. Doesn't want that either. That's fine. That's fine. Because it's, well, I mean, it's a herbivore, right? It's probably not going to be a carnivore. We do have a space up here that's kind of locked off at the moment. So I'll keep that in mind. And hello, a survivor zombie. Okay. Been a while since we've fought a zombie down here. Let's uh, take it out, Elliot. Elbow pads and a cash card. Thank you. We'll just take that cash card from you. And okay, that's the end of the line this way. So let's try and see if we can get through this door. What are we going to need? Well, we're going to need strength, first of all. So let's get that going. Have a breather before we actually begin slabbing into it. And yeah, we're definitely going to need something more than just our fists to be able to clang through this, I think. You know what? Crowbar. Crowbar, your bash is actually pretty good. Let's just give it a try. Yeah, it's gonna have to be more. Okay, so it should be easy enough for us to get this going, I think. Let's try and take apart the display rack first of all. We'll turn off our light before we do. And okay, we're gonna have to drag this out here. Elliot, um, need you to move. Okay, there we go. We got it out in the light now. Let's deconstruct it. Got some pipes. Now, pipe fittings are going to be the more difficult thing here. I do wonder if we could get pipe fittings from taking apart the utility lights, like, because they might be like little attachment points. I'm just trying to remember if we've seen any fencing down here. No, it's all kind of upstairs, right? I guess we might be able to get pipe fittings from the sinks in the bathroom. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see if that's possible. Okay, let's do some deconstruction or not. No, not easily. Okay, well, we'll smash them. Hey, pipe fittings. Okay, let's get a few going. There we go. Let's take all those pipe fittings with us and head back to the pipes. Okay, a great pipe mace. That'll do it. There we go. Okay, now, I believe it was best when we did do force unarmed. And you know what? Maybe that's all that we needed to do. <laughs> you know, instead of us using Tai Chi. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Our shoulder check is doing it. But I do think sometimes we still need to have something with a decent bash tool with us, even if we're not directly using it. There we go. Wow. Okay, what was in here? Nothing. <laughs> Pretty much nothing. Okay, well, I think that was still worth it. Because we're going to need it for other places around here. Ooh, okay, we've got staff rooms here, it seems. Staff bedrooms for the scientists. More bathrooms here where something has died. Let's get our light on. And noise. Noise on the other side of this wall. <laughs> That's another dinosaur egg. Yes, please. Oh, glass just broke somewhere. 
We can see a body down below here. What do we have going on? Interesting, it's through there somewhere. Okay, we'll check the space first. We'll be taking that rabbit sample. Oh, and Dusk does still have her strength up at the moment, but I mean, she'll naturally lose it in just a moment here. Oh boy. Okay, it's not actually as bad as I thought it was gonna be. That's a friendly bio-operator in there. That's the Spinosaurus, that's not friendly. It is slow though, and it's so heavy. So if we can throw that back, I think we could really mess it up. So let's hurl it against the wall, and yeah, we lose our strength, that's fine. How much did that damage it? Mm, not enough. <laughs> not enough. Okay, okay, right. Um, maybe, maybe that wasn't enough force. Let's try again. Okay, that did good damage. That was better. We'll go with one more. We can see something else heading our way. Although, yeah, it's, it's, it's friendly. Okay, let's let it take a few more steps here. Sending it backwards. It is pretty damaged. I'm tempted to see just how dangerous it is, but at the same time, yeah. I think one hit from this thing would be very, very bad. And every single time we're using these powers, if we get a strange tingling sensation, like we just did, we are consuming so many more calories. So, yeah. While we've got it defeated, there is always a cost. All right, bio operator, we're gonna let you out of there because it looks like you've probably, be, probably been in here for a while. Yeah, and let's go smash that. What was it? It was a feral troglobite with a stun gun and a smartwatch. Wouldn't mind the smartwatch, but it's, uh, it's pretty messed up. We have some more plant samples. Yet another bird sample. And that's that area kind of dealt with. Okay, another empty space here. I know I said I was going to go around the outside first. I haven't exactly done that though, have I? Oh boy. All right, we had some big things go down in here. Um, I guess it bled to death after uh, fighting these zombies here. Yeah, rough. All right, let's take that super glue and that battery and that other thing of super glue. We'll see what else is among the stuff here. Got some welding wire. You know, easiest thing to do here is shift V. You can kind of see everything that's going to be on the ground and see if there is anything that you want. Recharging stations, super useful. Ooh, portable soldering iron. Now, I do feel like we've had a soldering iron before, but we don't have a portable one. So let's pick that one up. Nothing hidden in the desks, they're okay. Oh, and there's something bionic on the other side of the wall there. Let's go see what we got. It is friend or foe? Can't tell right now. It is just here. Um, is it hiding? What's going on? Okay, it was hiding in there, <laughs> it seems. More fish samples, and I don't even know if we're keeping them in their original containers or not. Ooh, human and lupine. We've got both of them. And we have ourselves a mystery door that we should be able to get into from the other side. We're not gonna worry about smashing things to pieces just yet. Okay, uh, just a boring space. Nothing that we really want. A little bit further to the south now, we're gonna start going through this space and I feel like you just jumped out of nowhere. Hi, okay, let's go back on out. Um, see if you want to try and follow us through there. You do, okay. Let's send you backwards. And thankfully, it seems like these dinos don't have as much health. They are very quick, though. We do not want to let them get the jump on us. Another battery? Yeah, okay. We have our beast sample and a frog sample. And down the bottom, a cattle and snail sample. So all of these different samples, we're assuming that they are using them to try and enhance the dinosaurs that they have here. Maybe trying to make them into something more than they are. Okay, we haven't found anything all that wild down here. Looks like we've got another holding cell. And, ooh, okay. Hey, you're a chill bio-operator. Let's just try and uh, keep it that way. I don't know what these scientists were thinking. <laughs> I feel like they were asking for this disaster. Another body to pulp. A troglobite. Hmm. Oh, and I think our pack might actually be getting close to being full. Yeah, zero liters remain. Okay, uh, probably need to do something about that. What can we get rid of that's going to help us when it comes to volume? I mean, there's not a lot of stuff that I want to get rid of, really. I don't think this stuff is what's actually in our pack, though. <laughs> yeah, because that volume is completely separate from our own. I think having the pipe mace out of there will certainly help. Or maybe not, actually. Hmm. There we go, that's a bit better. If we just wear it for a moment, we can see everything that we've got and how that stacks up in terms of volume. 
And really, it's just lots of small things that fill up that pack. There we go. Okay, that's a bit better. Oh, we've had a few more deaths around here. Just have to make sure that they stay dead. Oh, and even more over towards the west. Okay, so I think it's about time that we offload a little bit more to Elliot. So we're going to see about trying to get some of those samples across to him. And probably these extra dinosaur eggs while we're at it. We'll see what he can take. Ah, we'll knock that back by a bit. And a bit further. Oh, I don't even think he can fit the rest. He does have a fair bit of volume left, but I think the eggs are probably adding to this. Maybe a little too much. Well, he's good with one egg, uh, but can't accept the other. Okay, fine. Okay, he can take a few of our samples. I think that's going to be it, though. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's, uh, that's quite a mess. It's very difficult to see where the bodies are here, what's going on. But it was a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And there's a Triceratops bioperator. Or there was. That would be fantastic to have as a mount. Oh, we've got another door that we can smash through, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. Dusk. It's time to do it. There we go. Just need to get to full stamina. There we go. Okay. And yet again, <laughs> nothing too interesting. Wow. Okay. Yeah, there's a serious amount of destruction down there. Another Tyrannosaur, I think. Yep. It was. Some more troglobites here, it seems. A lot of stuff on the ground. A lot to look through. And surprisingly, nothing that we need. Or want, I should say, at this stage. But those snail samples we shall take. Well, I've got another room that we can crack into, so onto it. Okay, now it does look like there's a sample in this one. Fish and lupine. And some human samples. How interesting. And then finally, cattle down here and damn <laughs> something did a number on this i imagine it was probably that tyrannosaur oh there's a lot of drinks on the ground because vending machines have been destroyed over here and then we've got a few corpses that we need to deal with aha and yet another secret door well not secret but actually you know what let's just check to see that we can't pry this open no <laughs> okay back to smashing oh okay and lizard samples, okay. Lizard samples that we can't actually take. You know what, dinosaur egg? I'm, I'm, well, actually, I was going to say I'm going to let you go. What if we just tried to eat you right now? Because we need the extra calories. Here we go. Okay, and we will. We will stop at that point. We don't have to eat all of it. We are considered engorged. You're fine, Dusk. You're fine. Mongoose meal. We're all right. Whoa, okay. <laughs> you kind of came out of nowhere there. Okay, we got a bio-operator right in front of us. Off with you. And you are still alive. I'm not surprised. Our strength drops. We slam it back again. Or oh, that second strike did the work it needed to. And that's really cute. We've got an Aeroraptor um, bio-operator down here. And lots of empty wardrobes. Let's leave the door open for them, Elliot. Or at least, you know, one of them. And what's behind the next door? Hey, Nanosaurus bio-operator. Just a small, friendly-looking thing. Okay, that's good. And you know what? I think... I think we might have... Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> it was okay, and now it's not. Elliot did just kind of get downed by it briefly. Oh, it's taken off. It's <laughs> running away. Um, I was going to say, we've cleared it. We've cleared the lab. Now, I don't think it's multiple level. I think this is all that we got. But then again, in saying that, even though we can't see a staircase up the top, it seems like there might actually be one there, possibly. Not a staircase, but a second level, because we could see it from a distance. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go back over towards the elevator, and we are going to head back up to the surface, is that, is that what we're going to do? For the moment it is, Elliot, get on over here, let's turn off our light. Um, are you actually here? Are you with? You are in the room. Okay, good. It's time to go up top. Okay, just like that, here we are. We can hear the rain outside, and, well, I don't see an easy way to climb up, to get up. We didn't check to see what was going on over here. I do want to try and have a look at that. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so, I, I don't know. It might just be, there might not be that much to it. Because, like, house roof, it doesn't say lab roof, though. But then again, we don't see anything on this level here, so it could just be, you know, a roof, but it's not calling it a roof. Oh, we got a radio tower right here? Well, you know that we're going to have to climb this thing, right? Yeah, during the daytime. But we have something else to investigate. 
We've been through one lab, and yes, we have maxed out everything that we can carry so far. But over here, the line continues. It goes to an unknown location. And we can just pop out of this lab and head on over towards this one. Because I I am I'm thinking that could be another lab there. And if it's a proper lab with multiple levels, that is going to be fantastic for these two. But in saying that, I do know that labs can be, you know, a little samey sometimes. And so I think what I will do in the future with places like this is kind of time lapse things a little bit in the way I kind of shorten things up a little bit today and more we'll go over what we got at the end of all the looting. Of course, whenever there's combat, you, you know that you're going to see it. But for now, feeling engorged and slightly uncomfortable, Dusk has uncovered secrets. Secrets that may help her understand her own genome and may help her improve her brothers. That Taranid mutagen, I feel like that would suit Elliot just fine. And the Horns mutagen. I mean, Dusk is already rocking them. Who knows? But for now, I'd like to thank you all for joining me for yet another episode. A big one at that. I'm so happy that this lab had that much more to it. And I tell you, I, I am still interested in the Dino Park, the Dino Zoo. It could be very dangerous, but there could be some potential rewards there too. And you know what? While it might seem like both Dusk and Elliot just kind of breezed through this lab, believe me when I say things can go wrong very quickly. The enemy numbers are greater, and as time goes on, they are only going to become more and more dangerous. While Dusk and Elliot are powerful now, if they don't keep up, they'll be left far, far behind. And we can't have that. And so, for now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.